So here we are at uh, PRGE 2022 with yeah. Ryan Whitmer, Hello. developer of Robin Banks and many other 5200 games. You've cornered yes. the market. I, I absolutely. You this are is... the 5200 homebrew developer, oh, I, I would say. I'm hoping to change that. Um, by, <laughs> by encouraging others. I, I've been develop... recently doing videos explaining how to do it, and I'm actually getting some interest in those. So That is excellent. It could be, we may see someone else jumping in on the scene eventually. That's good. It's because. Like, you know, people need the tools. Exactly. To be able to so, make the games and examples of know, what they yeah. can make on the 5200. Yeah, I, I've been just slowly putting together a game with a series of YouTube videos, a very simple uh, one, and just showing the whole process in that. That's and, uh, an even better process. Oh, yeah. It's like it's, step by step, this is how you can have a game on the 5200. What are exactly. some of the uh, obstacles, maybe? For, and benefits of somebody making a game for the 5200? Uh, well, some of the benefits, I would say, are uh, probably just the extensive documentation. Yeah. Um, since the system is, in a lot of ways, an offshoot of the Atari 8-bit computers, That's right. there's tons of documentation out there, tons of code examples, yeah. which almost work. <laughs> right. Okay. So you can go grab a book on an Atari 400 and read it and say, you know, right. this all applies to this, except the parts that don't. Right. Which I think is a big advantage, especially in the early days. You know, now yeah. these days the 2600 and 7800 are a lot better documented. Yeah, many, so a lot many of the, games yeah. been made for the homebrew, yeah. So a lot of that advantage has gone away. But it is nice to have that extensive software library, you know, to fall back on to That's look right. at. So with you with your videos that you're doing, you're kind of filling in that that blank, that gap the to uh, bridge the gap from 8 bit to the 5200. Yeah, just giving a lot of the little things that I've learned along the ways that you, it's hard to track down in the books, like the little gotchas and the little things that are different right. than that. Yeah. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm hoping it's providing a valuable service for somebody. Uh, yeah. You know, you know, whoever's you, interested. Have, have you seen anybody in the forums get ex interested? I know there's some people who are doing like conversions. A lot of yeah. conversions are happening between 8-bit and over to 5200, which is which is encouraging. Yeah, although yeah. I was actually just discussing this with someone else. I think a lot of the low-hanging fruit has been done in that respect. Yeah. And a lot of the games that are left that haven't been converted are things that use computer hardware that isn't present in the 5200, like right. expanded memory or things like that. Yes, um, okay. And I, I guess that is some of the limitations compared to the 8-bit system is uh, the amount of memory that you have on this? Yeah, so the, well, I think, I'm not super familiar with, with the 8-bit computers, but yeah. I think that this is probably comparable to a baseline 400. Okay. But nobody yeah. uses that anymore, right? Like at this point, anyone's yeah. doing those, they have all the expansion parts and additional hardware and disk drives and all that fun stuff, yeah. which you don't have here. Yeah. So I think there is uh, sometimes a bit of scaling down involved in moving the stuff over, yeah. uh, but... You know, I think that's why the 8-bits are generally more attractive, because you have a lot more types to play with. So I can't blame people for not doing it. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, and this is a console I've always loved. So, yeah. you know, it's it's very, you know, honor, it's honored to have this sort of stuff shown off here where people can come up and play it and buy it. And, you know, to have people, uh, there's a very rabid community of 5200 enthusiasts. Yes. They're small, but they're dedicated. <laughs> that's and, great. And, that's you know, what you want. Yeah, they're always very enthusiastic when a new game comes out. So it's yeah. definitely good to see that. And speaking of that, your new game, Robin Banks, yes. just came out. Have you yes. been standing around watching people play it? And what is the reaction been? Because people do know this game. Yeah, so this, and if the, the title joke doesn't make it obvious enough, this is a conversion of Lock and Chase, yep. which is a 1983, maybe, Data East arcade game. Yep. Early 80s, I don't remember exactly when. Um, which Mattel had the home rights to, and they, yep. they released uh, 2600 and Intellivision versions of it. Yep. And I thought, this would be a fun game to do for the 5200, so yep. uh, let's go ahead and do it. And I mean, even if you don't know the game, it's very obviously a Pac-Man knockoff, yep. so you can come, we'll just walk up to and play it. And people have been doing it, and I've, I've been here and talked to a few of them. Yep. Um, you know, some of them who, who knew the game and were excited about it, and some who didn't know the game, but like I said, quickly figured it out you know, just yep. by looking at it. So. Oh, that's great. So, uh, have you been to PRGE before, or is this your first time? Um, I've been to, I, I'm pretty sure, nearly every one. Oh my goodness, um, wow. I, I live That's just up the way in Seattle. Oh, no wonder. So, yeah, a couple I've been hours coming here. Drive. Yeah, I've been coming here almost every year, so. Yeah, we're um, just six hours away, so yeah. we try to make it every single time we can. Yeah, in fact, I remember when it wasn't here, it used to be in a hotel. 
yes. the hotel nearby. I don't remember exactly where it was. So I think it's a Red like Lion in a or something like that. Or something in the garage. Yeah, it was or... like down in the hotel basement. <laughs> they used to do it down there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been interesting to see the show grow over the years. And, you know, yeah. just how, how big it's gotten. Huge. Um, really big. Although what's interesting is that I've seen the retro window shift ever farther forward and as, forward. As it does, um, you know, was, the peak of nostalgia is yeah. creeping forward. I, I was just uh, mentioning uh, to someone over there about how I, I, I have routinely been able to find 50 to 100 games that I'm missing here, like every year. Yes. But this year it's looking like I'm going to come up empty, which... Oh, you know, no. Because it's hard to even find them. don't have a complete collection? I would uh, be thinking that you would I, be like... I, the I'm, one I'm missing nine. Nine out of 69. And those ones are getting you. harder harder to find. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're in the hands yeah. of collectors Yeah, now. we're getting down to the tough ones here. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, wait until somebody gives up their collection yeah. to scoop up the whole whole lot of them. I, it, it feels bad doing that. It's like I want to find them in the wild. So oh, it, it almost fun. feels like cheating. You know, just like go on it eBay. Like, there it is. Go buy it. It's too easy. Um, but yeah, yeah so it, it's but it's still a great show. There's still a lot of fun stuff here to see and to buy. And it of is. course, this whole Atari Age booth back here oh. full of great stuff. Beautiful setup as usual. Yeah. Al does an amazing job of this. Yeah, and it's I mean it's amazing the amount of work he puts into it, and yeah. you know not trying to toot my own horn, but the amount of work that we put into it because a yes. lot of the stuff you see up here like this and these posters and all that what yeah. we had to do exactly it's um, all the artwork that yeah. you you've done and all the work that yeah. you put into the game yeah, even well. beyond the game itself yeah, yeah so and even setting up and tearing down i know a lot of oh, the developers yeah. and myself we all came early yeah a lot of people come to help out with stay that stay late and so it's um, on as much as online it's a community it's also offline a community as well we all get together and make it magical yeah and it's else. it's interesting to meet people here that you know that I've seen online that I've never met before, like yourself, for yeah, example. Yeah, exactly. I'm meeting um, so many developers yeah. that I've never met before, except for online through video. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's you know, that's a whole other thing. Because uh, I've been on your show a couple of times. Yep. Yeah, you know, for previous releases. Yeah. And I hear you're doing another one in November. Is that true? Yes. yes okay. We are doing an Atari I'll, I'll, I'll throw, Eight Day fall, in, <laughs> fall Edition, where we will be featuring Robin yeah, Banks and all the other new games as well. Yeah, so there's a lot gonna, of them. I, we're gonna have to make it two days. Yeah. It's, it's every time he does this, Albert. He says, I'm not going to do as many next time. Uh, and then just, he does just he gets, as many. He does like double. Sometimes more, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so, it just doesn't work. No, he needs to split it up and do multiple releases a yeah. year. Yeah. And well, I, I keep trying to feed him a 5200 game every year. So he has so he has one. Yep. Um, Something to but, feature. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. For uh, being here and talking oh, with yeah. us. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, thanks for inviting me over. And it's uh, you know great to be here and great to talk about this stuff. Yep. And uh, uh, hopefully... forward to talking with you again on Zero Page in November. Yes, yes. For, uh, for the uh, online release where I can give of you the some, game where everybody can get it. Yeah, some more fantastic uh, details about that. Yeah, I can't wait to see yes. it in the store. Oh, yeah. Um, That's you know, for sure. I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah. So thank you very much. Oh, yes. Thank you. Great talking with you. Enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, you too.